thanks for accepting my invitation and thanks uh, for accepting to talk with me yeah no worries thank you for inviting me on okay so you're from sorry you're from uh, i'm from um, near london in the uk okay so can you introduce yourself to my audience Yes, uh, my name's Corey Austin. I'm uh, 23, so um, I'm an author that wrote the book The World Undone. Okay, so you 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 have published books? Yeah, I've got one published book came out beginning of last month called The World Undone. It is about. So it follows a group of six friends as they enter a whole new world of magic that they didn't know existed and kind of it tests the bonds that they have where they learn that they need to trust each other more otherwise they're not going to survive what the world throws at them now. Is that a fictional story or a real story? Um, it's a fictional story. It's, a, it's kind of a fantasy one that involves like elements to magic and all that. Okay. So what is the response that you got for the book? Um, at the moment, I've uh, sold a few copies of it, but at the moment it's a uh, general kind of positive feedback at the moment. There's a couple of, like, I think I missed a couple of bits of grammar, but that was more just in the editing stage. But the uh, final release has gone pretty good. What made you to write this book? So, a few years ago, I was um, with my group, with a group of friends, and I'd been, been like, writing on and off, like, a few little bits, but then I decided, you know, well, I could write about a group of friends as they traverse this whole new world that they've been and I'd always kind of thought about it and decided, you know what, let's see if I can do it. So I started writing it. I stopped for a little while and then my fiance actually got me to pick it back up again. So continued it on, took a few months and then, yeah, started editing and getting it fully published. Okay. What is your motivation? What is your driving force for writing? Okay, so, um, so the original motivation that I got for it was um, I read the series by Dr. Grandy, and that gave me the uh, majority inspiration for it. But most of the time, I see what I've seen in like, films, in games, what I've read, and I'm like, right, okay, I can, I can adapt to this, I can change this, I can then rework this so it works in the book this way. So it's more or less, I've taken inspiration from quite a lot of different areas. But you get quite an immersive world. Is this your profession or uh, you write uh, because you just want to write? Sorry? Uh, uh, writing is your profession or uh, you're writing this only because of uh, you just want to write? Um, I'm just writing on the side at the moment. It's not really my profession yet, but it'll be quite nice if it's my profession. What do you do other than writing? Uh, so I work in a uh, video game and tech exchange place where we just kind of exchange place uh, exchange like video games and consoles and pcs and all that okay so can you tell more about it more about the book or about where i work about your work work so yes yeah, so, um basically it's just um people exchange stuff into us we then sell them back like consoles and games and tech we help out with like um what kind of ddr for the ram and stuff that they need for all kind of like gaming pcs and stuff your designation my sorry your designation um i'm just a sales assistant there at the moment it's a part-time thing that i've got whilst um obviously we've all got the COVID stuff and then okay so from that uh, you became writer you are into writing now yeah i mean i'm into writing now hopefully as long as it kind of it builds up hopefully as i wish then hopefully i then should become be able to become a full-time writer so okay so when you started writing uh so properly started writing i think about three years ago and that's when i wrote the first two chapters and then i picked it back up i think in april april of this year and then fully finished it in august so yes so fully so technically started three years ago but Properly, kind of picked it back up in. Okay, so your favorite genre? Uh, my favorite genre, it has to be kind of um, like fantasy and fiction, and all that, where um, it stretches the realms of like reality and all that, where it can really make my imagination run wild. If I can fully get hooked into the book, then 
there, there are times where I've read a book from start to finish and spent the whole night there reading it from launch. So you said that uh, you want to become a full-time writer. So what is making you to think like that? So um, so when I first picked up writing, I wasn't sure if I was going to like really it or not. But I can I can completely zone out when writing. I've spent like hours just at the screen typing away, and it's something that I've really become passionate about. So I think to be able to immerse myself in a job like that, where not only would I be able to technically be my own boss with the whole writing and everything like that, but also I'll be doing something that I love and that I'm passionate about, and that's the kind of job that you want. What is the thing that you believe that uh, that you have and uh, that other 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 authors that don't have? So I'm hoping with the um, book series that I'm writing that it will show kind of the reality of what a friendship can go through if subjected to out of this world situations, such as magic and all these unworldly uh, things that get thrown at them. So I'm hoping that it shows them just how much a friendship can grow, how much a friendship can get strained by all these things that wouldn't normally be like a, a friendship would normally be subjected to. So why you do why do you want to say some things which are not existed? So um I wanted to kind of see I've I've read a few books where the friendships are just like normal, where they're just like the same friendships that you'd see just in real life. And I thought, well, maybe, you know, if we open the world to where the imagination runs wild and you can see a whole different kind of existence for friendships where they struggle with things that they haven't even begun to comprehend like at all because they didn't even think it was possible. So what is your intention behind uh, expressing your uh, feelings and thoughts uh, through your books? So uh, it was mostly just to, uh, beginning it was mostly just to see if I could, but now it's kind of, I want people to be able to see the world that I have made and hopefully enjoy it and be able to get, become fully immersed in it and be able to basically to see themselves there and see how amazing magic would be in real life so what is your favorite book uh, my favorite book uh it does have to be the uh, squid Ogre present series by derek landy it's what got me into writing in the first place it's i think going on to like book 15 now but yeah it's it's been like an amazing book for me it's been a really good inspiration really good drive so a book that i could reread over and over again did writing help you in uh, uh in uh, in your living it has, yeah, it has. It's um, it's helped with like vocabulary and stuff, getting um, bigger words, being able to uh, make an immersive situation. It just reading books in general has helped me gauge what I can and can't do in a book, and how to phrase it and how to make it more um, engaging for the right for the readers. Do you read uh, other country books? Sorry. Do you read uh, other country books other than UK? Um, I haven't. No, my um, my language isn't great for other uh, for other languages. So, I mean, I want I want to. I reckon it could be um quite an experience. But at the moment, I've kind of just stuck to English and stuff like that. So, explaining something which is not existed, are you good in uh, explaining things? Um, I'd like to think so. People who have um, read the book have said that I've done a really good job of building up the world around them and that they can they can see themselves there because it's a world that exists side by side on a regular world. It's literally you you just need to walk through like a different plane of existence and you'd be submerged in this whole magical world where everything is very similar to the way that we currently live, but it's also there are things different about it. Things are, um, they grow differently. The uh, sun shines differently. Like everything there is done just a little bit differently than what it is with the real world. Writing or speaking, select one and why? Um, writing, definitely. And why? Um, I'm actually not not the best speaker. I can get quite nervous and um, kind of flux over my words. Whilst with writing, I can sit there and I can just flow onto the page for hours at an end, not worrying like who's watching me at that precise moment, not worrying about who's going to be judging at that moment. So it's just like right, it's just me and just me and the laptop. I can write whatever I like. How many books do you want to write in your life? um it's kind of it's not a number that i've thought of the uh the world undone series i want to hit um seven books with but then i obviously want to write other series after that as well 
So definitely double digits, maybe even triple digits if I'm feeling adventurous. How many words are you have used in your book that, 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 that is released? See, at the moment, there's only just like the one world, but I've always kind of thought about adding a couple of other worlds in there. And I think to explore the idea of how there is different realities to the ones that are currently in and to see how they would then deal with that and what it kind of would bring to the table in their life. Where do you sit? Where, where do you sit and write? Sorry. Where do you sit while writing? Um, so it's in a range of places. I've sat kind of just on the bed writing. I've got a chair in the corner that I'm actually sat on now that I do quite a lot of writing in. It's mainly just kind of sometimes I'll just get the inspiration to write and I'll just sit wherever I am and just start writing. I don't really have like a designated place. For it. Okay, so. You read uh, multi genres only a particular genre? Um, see, I read most things. I don't really read romance because it's not really my kind of thing with romance. But I, it, for me, it would be a difficult genre to write. So I expect all those who uh, like romance, but it's just not really my cup of tea. But I do like a little bit of horror is quite nice. Um, a little bit of like stuff that's based on true events as well is quite nice. I've read like a few books like that where it's kind of it's shown a different take on what we thought we already knew, which is quite nice. So I've read a few different genres, but I do tend to stay near fantasy. So the next book, uh, what is that genre? Um, so it's going to be a fantasy as well. It's, um, it's going to be a direct sequel to The World Undone uh, called Paladin's Game, where it's going to lead on from the events that ended the first book and seeing how now they've kind of had their first major kind of turmoil in their new lives. It's going to be how they react to that. Are they going to want to stay the course that they're on right now? Or are they going to want to kind of step back a little bit and be, well, hmm, you know, maybe this isn't for me. So other than writing, what do you do? Um, so I play quite a lot of games at the moment. I like to kind of um, let my imagination run wild when playing these games and see if any of it can apply to what I'm writing. Um, I read and then I also like to take walks with my fiance quite a lot. We kind of just walk out and then in the countryside and yeah, take it all in. So you said uh, you work in a place where uh, the work is about uh, giving and taking and uh, yeah. and uh, you, you are writing now and uh, both are completely different. Uh, how you are managing both? So, um, at, so I kind of, I use the time where I'm at work is sometimes I've become a little distracted there, but um, just then I kind of use it as the shut off time where I can then just completely close off from writing, let my mind kind of reset, let it clear. So when I get back home, I've got a whole different mindset for it. I can take, if I get writer's book or something, I can come at it from a different angle and hopefully um, surpass it, which is quite nice. It's mostly just to kind of, it's, I treat work as kind of like a break in a way from writing, where I then don't really have to worry about it or anything. I can just do something else that I like doing and then come back or of writing when I go. So different authors are writing about different things. What do you think about this? Um, I think it's great. I think if everyone wrote about the same thing, it would be really repetitive and it would just it wouldn't be exciting. But with everyone writing about different things, it opens the world to so many different things and opportunities and shows everyone that there is so much in the world to explore. It's not just a one trick pony. There's so much here. So how much time you spend in uh, reading books? Uh, I like to get like a few hours in reading books. Yeah, I see that some people like they read a chapter a night or they read for like 20 to 15 minutes. But I basically, I just like to read until I'm either too tired to register the words anymore or just basically read until I'm done the book. It's quite a little, it's kind of all like all or nothing for me with a book. Yeah, expressing to impress or uh, yeah, expressing because uh, you just want to express. Oh yeah, definitely. Second one. Yeah, the second one, yeah. Fantastic. So do you have anything to say to the people who watch this video from anywhere on this planet? Um, yeah, uh, be sure to check out my book. It's on uh, Amazon at the moment. I'm actually working on getting the ebook out as well, in case anyone doesn't want the paperback or anything like that. But yeah, just be sure to check it out. Tell me what you think, leave a review, or just send me a DM on Twitter or anything like that. I'll put the, your book link in the description of this video. People who watch this video can find your book. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much.
So, have you seen any previous videos of mine? I have. I, um, I quite enjoyed the video with uh, Emma Jane Barlow, where we, where she spoke about her poetry, and I also liked the conversation mm -hmm. with, so I've got her name, the uh, conversation with uh, A.S. Edwards as well about her book of um, addictions and how they, how they spanned out in her life. Okay. So, can I put this video on my YouTube channel and uh, on social networks and on internet with your permission? Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for giving your valuable time. Okay, no problem. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, take care. You too.